Well, I hope you're doing well today. And we've come to a very important part of our study of the book of Ephesians. Recently, we've looked at verses 22 to 24 of chapter 4. That's the the put-off, put-on passage, which speaks to us about how God's people change and grow. Well, it's interesting that the very first topic that is discussed after that is the issue of communication. Uh, Verses 25 to 32 uh, deal with what we've traditionally called the the four rules of communication. And this Sunday we have the opportunity to talk about the first one from just one verse in the Bible, uh, the rule of being honest. And you might say, boy, are we going to be able to find an entire sermon out of just one verse? It was amazing as I was uh, preparing this message how much I ended up having to cut. And that's true because the Word of God says so much about the role of truth in the Christian life and the role of truth in in relationships and certainly the role of truth in having unity in the church. I I told myself about midday of that study, wow, we could easily have a month on this particular subject. So I would encourage you, if your schedule allows, um, read through Ephesians chapter 4, or at least chapter 4, verses 22 to 32, and then be asking the Lord to help all of us think about just how truthful are we? What is the level of commitment that we have to obey what the verse says, to putting off falsehood, and to speak truth with one another? I think we'll find a lot that can help us as we continue to grow in Christ. Also, I would encourage you in this. You know, this time of the year, with a number of different outreaches, Vacation Bible School, the community picnic, those are um, designed in part as an opportunity just to get those, to know those that the Lord has placed around us who may not have a church home. And in our prayer and our hope, although we hope the events themselves are encouraging the people, We also hope that people will then choose to come back and try church on a Sunday morning. Maybe something they've not done in years and years and maybe not ever. That means this, it's a good opportunity for us to just be on the lookout for for those who are new. Of course, it's also a time of year when people are moving into our town and getting ready for um, the school year. And so I hope we have a heart that's always looking for someone who may not have a church home, who, who may not even know the Lord. And even a, a simple interaction might be the first step in that process with them. So, so let's pray and ask the Lord for a good day this Sunday.